the treasure trove of curios. I am Rebecca. For today's video I have been to a garage sale so I'll show you some of the footage from that first and then I will go back to this little section where I show you the things that I bought and some information about them. Just like I did with the last garage sale video I decided to overdub this one. So here are the four tea trio sets that I picked up. The first two there are Colclo ones. So I ended up buying all four of these. That one's a Royal Standard with gorgeous gold on it and Royal Stafford is the other one there. So I did end up buying all four of those plus this bowl as well which has a bit of discoloration on the bottom but it's quite stunning and it's got a real nice art deco sort of look to it. So everything on that little table there I purchased. So over here I didn't want to get too carried away with all of the the items that are there because I could have bought an awful lot but I have so many bits at home already and I didn't want to get too carried away. So I did buy that one, the geranium I suppose it's a creamer and I left all of the, the clear glass bits behind. There were some nice pieces there but I ended up leaving them. These are some gorgeous lace plates. They're made in Japan and I'm not really sure of the, the mark so I decided to leave those as well. They're in excellent condition but I decided to leave those ones there. Um, so those little plates there I did end up picking these ones up because they are hand painted in Italy so I I know that there's a market for that so I ended up taking that one home I don't think that was marked I think that creamer is a um, a crafts piece then over to the other side of the table there were some great little um, souvenir type pieces and that one's a nice little basket or dish, bowl, I suppose. I quite like this one as well. That one's Bavaria. And then this one I came across and I thought, oh, that one's pretty. Okay, so I bought some tea trios. So this is one of them. This is Royal Standard China. Show you the bottom there. Oh, hang on, put the other one down so I don't have an incident. There we go. Royal Standard China. This has got a gorgeous gold rose pattern. And there is the side plate. Interesting, the the four sets that I bought at the garage sale, all of the side plates are the square design, which is nice. So Royal Standard China was owned by Chapman's Longton Limited, which was in Staffordshire Longton, which is Stoke-on-Trent. So it started the the Royal Standard name from the company, which was operated out of the, um, the Albert factory, so the Royal Albert China, same factory. Um, so it started as Standard China between 1916 and 1930. Royal Mayfair was the name that took over after that, which was 1938 to 1941, and then it was Royal Standard from 1949 onward. Don't ask me about the the years in between like 1930 and 1938 no idea <laughs> I haven't been able to find that information out um, so that is post 1949 I can't work out exactly when 
um, but sometime in that sort of era. So then I'll show you the next one, which is this lovely piece. This is Royal Stafford. Which is not, there we go. Now it's focusing better. Lovely sort of Asian type design. So these are all made in England. All of the tea trios that I bought are made in England. I just think that's a really beautiful Asian type design. Unfortunately, it has a, I'm not sure if you can see that there. Yeah, there we go. Bit of a chip out of this edge here, which is on the underside and you can't, you can't really see it from the top, which is fortunate, but um, unfortunate that it has the damage in the first place. Then I've got two cold close sets for you. There is this beautiful one. I haven't found any exactly the same as this before. This has a very, I don't know, humble sort of design. It's very sweet and pretty. Here's the bottom. saucer and the side plate again square design so I've spoken about the Colclo company before in a previous teacup trio a uh, teacup video so I won't go into that too much today and then this is the other set that I bought and I really like this I think this is a stunning set. This is the bottom for you. And then the, the saucer and the side plate. Now these have only got just a little bit of wear just from normal use. There's nothing that's too, too extreme or unusual. That's a lovely little set there. Then I picked up this and I think this is so sweet and so beautiful. I suppose it's a maybe a creamer, I guess. I wouldn't think that it's a gravy boat because it's so pretty, but <laughs> could be wrong. So this is Geranium Japan. And I cannot find any information about this brand at all. Like, nothing. Anywhere. But there are some other pieces that have been sold recently. Unfortunately, it looks like they haven't been able to find any information about it either. These are not high, um, high selling pieces, as in aren't priced very high. They're beautiful. So I, I liked it and I picked it up. <laughs> Next I have for you this great Art Deco sort of bowl. So it's got this pinky red splattered, no speckled I would say, speckled sort of glaze and the gold edging around here. Great Art Deco sort of lines and this is by Empire England which is um, Shelton and um, this, I love that they did this. I wish everyone would do this. See the number here? This means that it was made in the seventh month of 1941. So that's July 1941 and I can date this as close as that. And I wish everyone would do that because it would make things so much easier. <laughs> there are some other ones that are the same company as this. Um, 
and similar time frame that have a more art deco look to it but still have the same glaze. So um, Empire England operated out of the Empire Works in Shelton at Stoke-on-Trent uh, from 1896 to 1967. Not all of their pieces had this the age stamp on there, but thankfully this one does. So 1941, I think that's pretty great. Next I picked up these plates. I just thought these were a nice unique little little thing and they are hand painted in Italy. And they've definitely got a real handmade sort of look about them. Each of them is ever so slightly different. <laughs> Same design, but just tiny differences that you can see between them. There's a couple of small manufacturer's defects in these. You can see the difference of the, the names on the back, especially that one. <laughs> There's a few manufacturer's defects, like here there's a bit of a brown splodge which is where the glaze hasn't quite covered properly. And it's not actually chipped, it's just, I suppose probably not particularly high quality. And you can see just there, maybe, there's a bit of, it almost looks like it's a crack, but that's a, a crack in the plate originally from before it was glazed. So the glaze is actually sort of into the gap there. So hand painted in Italy, I think they're pretty cool. I don't know what people would use them for, maybe as um, little sweets dishes or even as coasters, I suppose. They would look great as coasters. It's a good idea. You should use that. <laughs> Then the last piece that I want to show you, that it's the last piece that I bought, is this. This is a great, I suppose it's a basket, it's a ceramic porcelain um, basket or bowl, I suppose perhaps a dish. It's got these great lyre birds on it and this beautiful purple blue and a little bit of pink sort of... Um, the colours in there, unfortunately, and it's a little bit grotty because I haven't cleaned it, but it's missing a fair amount of the gold around the edges, which is a little disappointing, but I still think it's gorgeous, especially, like, this is beautiful. And so, I haven't turned that over for you, have I? This is Arsberg, Bavaria which is, so that's an area in Germany and the porcelain, the, the trademark for the porcelain has sort of been, it's been through a lot of different companies so it's hard to, to work out which company made this because so many different companies have had the trademark over time and to date exactly when it is when it is as well is a little bit complicated but nevertheless it's pretty stunning so the the trademark was first used in 1887 and it's still used today which is kind of cool anyway that brings this video to an end um, that's all the things that I bought at the garage sale. As you saw, there were lots of cool things there. I only picked up a few because I have a lot of stock to shift at the moment. So I didn't want to overload myself too much. Until next time, ta-ra!